Well, hi, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Tuesday morning. It's been a fairly quiet night for much of the night here. Let's go ahead and fast forward to where we're at right now. What we're seeing here in the last few frames, we've got some low clouds now moving into northern Kansas and now southern Nebraska. Even in the Tri-Cities area, it's become cloudy here just after 7 o'clock this morning here. So that's the biggest thing that may hold temperatures back today is how long do these clouds stick around could even be a little fog in some patchy areas as well especially down here in kansas and far southern nebraska i do expect some of these to thin out but the timing of the thinning out of these clouds is going to be very vital to how warm it gets later on today the longer it takes the cooler will be we saw this yesterday although yesterday it was upper level clouds today it's some lower mid and low level clouds out there Heading into tonight, we may see the redevelopment of some of those clouds and maybe some fog as a cold front, which will be right about here, will push southeastward. There's the low clouds and the fog developing here. Might even see some drizzle or stray sprinkles even back here behind the front. Now, the fronts through the area tomorrow morning will have a north and northwesterly wind. That wind's going to crank up tomorrow. It's going to be a fairly breezy, if not windy, day for your Wednesday. And it's going to be a little bit cooler out there, hoping to get a little more sun later in the day. Tomorrow night, still a few clouds around. As we get into Thursday morning, we'll see a chillier night. Most of us dropping back below freezing by early Thursday morning. So let's take a look at your highs for today. We're going to go 60s and low 70s, another very mild afternoon. The biggest question right now is how long does it take to clear out? Certainly these areas have the chance to be down maybe high as 64, 65 instead of 68 or 67. It just depends on the timing of that clearing. Tonight's temperatures, not bad. Upper 30s and 40s with the clouds around. They'll keep us milder even with the cold front coming through. And while cooler tomorrow behind the front, not bad. Mid to upper 50s, low to mid 60s. The winds will make it feel a little cooler. Like I said, winds out of the north and northwest may gust up to around, maybe even exceed 30 miles per hour in some spots. So the winds will be fairly strong, which will make it feel a little chillier. And then as the winds die down tomorrow night, we're going to see temperatures drop back into the mid to upper 20s and lower 30s. Most of us will be below freezing, maybe a few spots barely above freezing here. So a pretty chilly start to our Thursday. And Thursday, kind of one of the cooler days of our forecast. Highs in the mid to upper 50s, maybe near 60 over towards Lincoln. We'll see. That's usually that's kind of, and you see how it's warmer compared to most surrounding locations. That's usually the result of an urban heat island. Usually our bigger cities are a little bit warmer. Now I believe with uh, now with Omaha on the other hand, it's not as warm there, even though it's a, the largest city in Nebraska. And that's because the uh, sensors over at Epley Airfield, it's a little bit away from the city. Plus, it's right along the Missouri River too, which kind of make, helps keep it just a little bit down. But that's why you have more concrete in the Lincoln area, no rivers or anything like that, and that's why usually a lot of times if you ever know. Notice Lincoln's warmer than a lot of surrounding locations. That's why. Well, let's take a look at the uh, long range forecast here. We've already talked about the next three days. Again, the temperatures trending downward here as we head towards the end of the week. Tomorrow, probably one of the worst days of the forecast. Saturday, maybe another one of those days. That said, none of these are really terrible days for early to mid November. So, yes, temperatures come down. At night, we'll be dipping below freezing for a few nights. We get towards Friday, a little breezy again, but or excuse me, Saturday, a little bit breezy again, but it does start to warm up just slightly. I did throw in a small chance of rain on Veterans Day. It doesn't look like much. Sprinkles, very light rain. I don't think it'll be a big deal. And then we start to rebound. Sunday and Monday, 60s. Lows getting a little bit better as well. And check out the long-range forecast. After that little bit of a cool down, we're warming right back up next week. A lot of 60s are in store. And in fact, check this out. This is the Climate Prediction Center's outlook for November 14th through the 20th. So this is what well, today is the, uh, the 7th, I believe. Yes, the 7th of November. So we're talking about next Tuesday through next the end of next week, basically. Well above average temperatures for this time of the year. Average high is about 55 today. We'll be well above average next week. In fact, most of the country will, except for the West Coast, which is kind of opposite of what it's been most of the summer and into the fall. So that's kind of nice to see. No brutally cold air on the way. As for the moisture, I'm a little iffy on this right here. They have above average moisture for a large part of the country. I'm a little iffy on that right now. I'll show you why here as we take a look at some of the uh, long-range forecast models here. I'm going to back up just a little bit. Here's the European model. Not much moisture. There's the front coming through tonight right here, and then behind the front tomorrow, limited moisture, but not much. And then we look at the Saturday. I had that small chance for Saturday right there. I don't think it'll be much. And then next week, just not a lot of moisture, maybe a few small chances, but to say above average moisture, we'll see. Maybe if something comes later next week. That's as far out as my forecast model goes. So maybe it's counting on something more towards the end of next week. Here's the GFS model. Again, not much there behind the front tomorrow sprinkles 
and then Saturday would be the next chance, I think, and even that, like I said, I just threw in the small chance on Saturday. It's not much. Next week, slim chances all the way through Wednesday, and then beyond, we'll see what happens. Maybe something after Saturday, or after Wednesday of next week happens, but and that, that puts us into that above average category, but I don't see anything before then, really. So here's the long-range temperature trends. Again, we've got the mild weather today. It's going to cool down a little bit in the coming days ahead, Thursday, Friday. Not cold. You know, there's no brutally cold air coming in from Canada. That's the good news. We start to warm up a little bit this weekend, and especially into Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Look at that mild weather returning to most of the country next week, all the way through Friday here. The biggest question is, does something, does something maybe start to come in after Friday of next week and maybe start to make its way? That would be something worth watching, say, around, um, I have to get my dates right here. Say around the 18th, 19th, 20th of, of November. That's a long ways out yet, though. So, But we'll watch it as we get a little bit closer to that. But for now, again, much of the next uh, 7 to 10 days and even maybe a little beyond that, pretty nice-looking forecast ahead. So we'll go back and just settle in on the 7-day forecast for now, though. So that gives you a good idea of what we could be seeing over the coming days ahead. So I want to thank you all for watching. I'm kind of buying time here as so I wait for that to lo load back into my uh, graphic system here. There he goes. One more look at the 7-day forecast. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday, and I will see you all again on a windy Wednesday. Bye.